previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. It's worth a shot, I guess. I got nothing to lose. Other than my Piggly Wigglies, of course. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. Just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Looking around. Oh, Nick. 
That stupid kid. Are you sure you don't want to? I mean, maybe I could... What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Got a light? <laughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> we wait. Ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <coughs> I thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. This ain't gonna work. Go on now. 
find my nephew. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! We all got split up. I was with Pete, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. Well, we should go with you. It's too dangerous. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? You shouldn't scare people like that. Sorry, I just wanted to cheer you up. Isn't this the best? What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? Pete's dead. <sighs> Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. 
He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Hello? Hello there. Hello? How are you? Okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. Mind if I come in, Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. No, I guess not. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. That looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you? More. Hmm. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Been here for a year. Is that right? It's dangerous to stay put that long. Surprise you've lasted. I've met a lot of good people. I can tell. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. Well, it's a real nice place. Kinda cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah, looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. But wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. You just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. What was I supposed to do? He had a gun. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? Why do you care so much? Excuse me? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um... It was... droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. Picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, she didn't. I took it myself. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. If she hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. You said it was just up here? 
Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. I'll try to cut you some slack. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. You gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You... Sure, you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're going to have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose him up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beth. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. <laughs> 